Well, you called my number. They gave me, and they can't be wrong, so you must be the real lamp. Get out of my face so with said, that. Yeah. Well, they must have given it to you. Go right. off, Look, odd. Tired. We are checking the odd one out. Wrong numbers. So I'm guessing this video is going to be about whenever somebody calls you and they have the wrong number, and they're like, who's this? And you're like, who's this? You're the one who called me. Like, why are you going to call me and ask who's this? I never understood that, and that makes me so angry. We get a random phone number, and then they ask you who this is. Do you not know what number you're typing? before you hit call like are you just guessing are you playing the guessing game are you trying to reach a girl named Martha because I'm not Martha I remember one time I got a wrong number and they actually got mad at me because I wasn't the person they're like I got the number right why do you keep picking up I'm like cuz it's my number clearly you don't have the number right I don't know man sometimes people just don't make sense to me but I guess that's life it's not gonna make sense all the time but don't forget to hit me a like subscribe and go ahead and comment a funny prank call that you've done before or like a wrong number call that you've gotten before I remember one time we prank called one of my friends girl pretending that we were a girl that was like messing around with her boyfriend and she flipped out like I'm talking about she blew his phone up and he had no idea about this like we just decided to do it on our own and she was flipping out he got mad at us but it was funny at the end of the day enough of me talking let's go ahead and check out the odd one out wrong numbers hope you guys enjoy the video oh it's baby James he's so cute look at him uh, okay. It's for you, James. Hey, James. This is James from the future. Just wanted to give you a call and let you know... Look at him stunning on us! Tough, but you can get through it. <laughs> so You're here flexing. You know that everything's gonna be okay and... I love you. Aw, that's so sweet. You got the wrong number. I grew up in a generation where smartphones were a new thing, and everyone in my class had one, except for me. Oh, same me one because they didn't want me to access the internet on a device that oh. was in my pocket. Oh my we were gosh. super strict and didn't want me looking at Clifford. internet stuff, <laughs> which backfired horribly. That Clifford so they picture. they never gave me a smartphone. In fact, I didn't even get my first cell phone until I was 16 years old. Now, as an adult who uses a cell phone, oh, that's every day, awful. Sixteen. I, I survived for six. Oh my years gosh! Before. I think when I was younger, if I was ever in a situation where I needed to call my parents, I would just ask the nearest person if I could borrow their phone. Okay, now, sure. They're gonna kidnap you unless you use their phone. Given their children a cell phone yet? <laughs> Take it from a guy on the internet with no children. You should get them one. It doesn't have to be a smart one. You can just give them your standard drug dealer phone. But you should. But they're gonna get made fun of. They rock in a an flip emergency phone. And they need to call you or the police. The only downside I can think of giving your child a phone is they'll end up spending too much time on it. So you should just turn off. The oh, is that? Oh, oh. Um, what's when the guy's name? TK. Not TK. <laughs> sophomore year of high school, I got Luke my very Luke. first cell phone, an <laughs> LG Cosmos 2. I, I didn't grow up in the 90s that everyone else had iPhones but I was the only one with a foot with a phone that had a keyboard on it so I understand his pain because I was one of the only kids in class that didn't have a phone and when I finally did get a phone and about I would say it's the eighth grade I couldn't text I could only call on it I cannot text no internet it was trash because back then like you didn't talk on the phone you're too young to talk on the phone. Like right now, yeah, you talk on the phone, you FaceTime. But back then, it was all about text messaging. It was all about who was getting the most texts in class. And I was never that guy because I had no text messages. And even my phone, like I had an unlimited amount of numbers because everything nowadays is unlimited. If you're on a limited plan, stupid, what are you doing? But I had limited phone calls. So I couldn't even use that to the best of my ability. I don't understand how I was getting through school, how I was getting through life without the ability to text. And I only got the phone when I was in eighth grade. So what does that make me? 14, 13? That, that's kind of crazy, guys. Everybody else in my class was rocking their phones, rocking that text message, rocking that internet. And I was that one person who was just standing in the corner like, um, yeah. <laughs> and with that cell phone, I've had a couple of incidences where sometimes a random person would call me. It's always an old person. Someone else, it's always an old one. wouldn't admit they're wrong. And that's how you segue into the theme of this month's video. This first story happened when I was working at Suabway. That's Suabway. right, another Suabway story. Don't get sued, Hashtag James. Suabway 4. <laughs> it wasn't good enough to be in the other three. So, it was five minutes until closing, and we get a phone call on the Suabway phone. I pick on it up burger and say, phone? Uh, <laughs> thank you for calling Suabway. How may I help you? I was supposed to say, this is James. How may I help you? But... I wasn't about to tell this random stranger my name. Oh yeah, you gotta play a save, James. Anyway, the other play person on the line said, Hey, what time do you guys close? 
We're close! Is it alright if I show up late? I just need gas. And being the good employee that I was, I was totally willing to make this guy's sandwich over the phone, let him pick it up after we closed, and then I wouldn't ring him up and just pocket the money. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, yeah. Time. Don't snitch, snitch on yourself. I said, well, I can do that. What kind of sandwich do you want? He's too good of an employee. Said, I would have said no. I just no. need gas. Oh, don't worry, sir. This sandwich will give you plenty of gas. Uh, I, I mean... Do you want chips or something? <laughs> no, he said. I just need gas. I was a gasoline, little... like okay. from a subway. Yeah. So you'll get gas. Then are you gonna stop by and pick up a sandwich? You're talking he to said, a dummy. I don't want a sandwich. And then it hit me. <laughs> Even though the first thing I ever said. To Welcome this guy to Subway. Was, Thank you for calling Subway. <laughs> I think he thought he was talking to a gas station. So I said. We're not a gas station. A Subway. Oh. Oh my gosh. Like I never got the chance to tell him that gas pumps don't close. Yeah, that guy was a bona fide idiot. Uh, bro, the entire time I was thinking, you can get gas at 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Gas pumps do not close. As long as you have a card. If you if you have cash, yes, it does close. Because some gas stations aren't 24-7. But if you have a card, you can get gas whenever you want to. You don't need to call in ahead of time and tell them to open up late just for you to pump some gas. But I love the fact is that the very first thing that James says was, Hi, this is Subway. Like, he literally said, this is Subway. Like, I completely ignored it was just like i need some gas bro i need gas you gotta do better man us as a society we have to do better we have to be better as humans we can't be doing dumb things like this because this is ridiculous you call a subway asking for gas which doesn't close this next story happened when i was at home and i got a call from a number i didn't recognize and no now number I have friends tell me that they don't answer the phone to any number they don't recognize but my anxiety won't let me do that. You kind of. What you, if it's your bank if, calling saying your account got hacked? That's true, what if and it's the your IRS and shit. Because why would you have her saved in your phone? Or what if it's your Nigerian uncle who wants to give you his collection of gold bars and needs your information for a wire transfer? Oh, you need you to answer know, that. So I always pick up the phone. <laughs> so I answered it, and it was Nigerian this woman friends. asking my for a Lawrence, and I said, "Oh, I'm not. Th that's you have the wrong number." And she goes. Isn't this 416295? He said you have the wrong number. So don't try calling it. And I said, <laughs> no, this is 416293, because that's my phone number. Again, that's not actually a valid phone number, so please don't call it. And she goes, three? I don't think I pressed. Why are you arguing? And You're not, he's not Lawrence. <laughs> a number is 416293. But she doesn't think she pushed three, so I clearly you didn't get Lawrence right now. <laughs> Unless she did press so I three. Said, well, obviously you did. And then I made a comment about the whole situation <laughs> because I thought the internet would think it was funny. This next story. That was pretty funny, James. I laughed. I got a call from a number I didn't recognize at 9:30 in the morning. And I was lying in my bed. Pause. Why are you lying like that? And most people would agree <laughs> that you're supposed to be awake and productive at 9:30. And I didn't want whoever this stranger was thinking I'm lazy, so I had to answer the phone with my best. His animation has gotten up. Have y'all noticed? Like this is starting to look way more dope, bro. Good job, James. Hello. You're going to have to come quickly. Timmy fell down to well, fans. Uh. Okay, numbers like that I would have just hung up on because normally I don't pick up when I do see a number that I have don't have saved or it's not in my area code really. I won't pick it up. And I surely won't pick up a 1-800 number or 1-88 number, 888 number. Like those are obviously telemarketers or some company trying to sell you something. Trust me, I don't need anything. I have everything I need in life. I'm good. But it's just real annoying because lately my phone has been blowing up and it is it's so aggravating because the way my life is, like I can't afford to not pick up any number that I don't recognize because I don't know who's trying to contact me. IRS may try to contact me. Some other government related agency might try to contact me. YouTube may try to contact me. I just never know. So it's just, I'm, in, I'm put in a tough spot. But trust me, don't call me, please. Please have the respect and know YouTubers are busy people with lives just like y'all are. So don't go blowing up their phone thinking they're your best friend. Like, I'm your friend, trust me. But just, you gotta realize, I have a life and I don't have the time to constantly picking up the phone to numbers I don't recognize just to hear breathing on the phone because you're too afraid to talk. Oh my gosh. I said you're going to have to come quickly because Timmy fell down to well, Vance. 
How old are you? was a woman on the phone, but it was either her accent or the phone being buggy or I just had woken up. But I could not understand <laughs> anything she was saying, but I could make out one word, which was Vance. So, I did not have a lot to go off of. I said, You're not Vance, though, I so that's think enough. You have the wrong. Look at her chin! Oh, okay. Goodbye. Crimson chin neck ass! <laughs> Well, I should probably get the day started, I thought, as I went back to sleep. But then immediately, I got a call from the same number. And I thought, okay, maybe if this person is calling again, even after I explicitly told her she had the wrong number, maybe it's not a wrong number after all. But you're not maybe Vance, though. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe it's an emergency. Maybe she's so just really maybe... crazy. <laughs> Hello. All your daughters had a heart of heart, Vance. Okay. I can't understand anything you're saying. So then this She's woman was Irish? handed the phone to her friend. <laughs> okay. Because a different voice started Another talking, crimson chin. And I could actually understand her, <laughs> and I'll never forget what she said, which was, Vance, no one thinks that you're funny. And even though I'm not Vance, What? I'm kind of hurt. So I stated the obvious, which was, I'm not Vance. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. And also, I'm not Vance. <laughs> and she said, No, Lance. So this whole time, these two have been looking for a Lance. And so you're still not a Lance. <laughs> I'm not Lance either. And she said, Well, this is the number they gave me. At that point, I don't know why you're still talking to that lady. I would have just hung up the phone. Girl, I'm not Vance. I'm not Lance. I'm not Hans. I'm not Prance. I'm not anybody like that. So why are you trying to talk to me? And she's over here yelling at you, insulting you, calling you not funny. The disrespect. She's in your phone disrespecting you. Nah, that doesn't slide in this house. You finna get that end call. I wish we still had flip phones so it would be more dramatic when you end a call. You flip it down like, <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Because nowadays, touchscreen phones, like, you really can't be dramatic with it. You can only, like, touch it really hard. What's that going to do? It's still just going to hang up the phone. They're not going to really hear the phone hanging up hardly. Okay, if she had said it like, Oh, I'm sorry. This is the number they gave me. I didn't mean to call you, stranger. Then that will be polite. Also, I do think you're funny and enjoy your videos. Mm -hmm. Then that would have been totally fine. She's just shifting the blame to someone else. But instead, she sounded so condescending. Like, I was wasting her time. Well, you called my number. They gave me, and they can't be wrong, so you must be the real lamp. Get out of my face so with said, that. Yeah. Well, they must have given it to you. Right? Go off, Look, Odd. Tired Go off, Odd. But then <laughs> she hung up on me. Like this woman just basically called a random person, said, you're not funny, and then hung up. So I decided That's how she spends her day. Her She's a troll. Said, She's an internet troll. I just found the real Lance. He's the funniest guy I ever met. <laughs> and he told me he doesn't give his phone number out to root pieces of shit. I'm just kidding on that last part. Oh, he's part. salty. I thought about doing it, but then I went back. I didn't do it. And then someone on the internet found my phone number, and I changed it. And whoever has my old number is probably getting a lot of calls from strangers and people I went to high school with. Sorry about that. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Just like on his ending note, somebody found his phone number and, like, they started calling him. Guys, if you ever find out a YouTuber's phone number, don't call them. Like, trust me, if they wanted you to call them, they'll let you know. Like, I used to do this thing where I will call fans on live, like, on you now stream. I'll be like, hey, give me your phone number and I'll call you live. But I'll obviously have to, like, block my number. But I'm sure there's some ways you can figure out the number, even though if they block it, I have no clue. But I just started getting a lot of calls from fans. And trust me, I like talking to y'all. It's just I do have a life. I do have a calls I am waiting on so whenever I do pick up and I just hear breathing on the phone it kind of gets aggravating like I'm not Lance I'm not Vance I'm not Prance I'm not Dance I'm not Jance I'm not Cance <laughs> I'm Prince Prince Charming but don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and comment on this video if you want to apply from your truly Prince Charming my name is Prince of Hawkum. stay charming my friends